Hello everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw day 14 of March of Robots. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, sketching first and then Sharpie. So if you don't want to watch the sketch portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out with a gray Copic marker, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. All right, robots, robots, robots. Who's got the robots? I do. And I'm going to do something fun. Okay, I've got a sketch. I, I, I usually do that. I usually sketch it out first real fast just to see if I like where it's going, if I like the idea. And uh, I, 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 yeah, I kind of came up with one that, yeah, I like this. I like that it's, it's a little crazy, a little different. And uh, let's see what we can do with it, right? So now I just basically have to get the, the, the rough shape is all I'm really going for. And then the rest will, will find itself because the, the detail is going to come about in the, in the Sharpie portion, right? I don't need to worry about the specifics just because I'm trying to work fast and I'm trying to just get us through this. So it's not that important is what I'm trying to say right now. If I was going to do something that's, that's more, uh, detailed or I'm going to sell it or, you know, it's, it's, someone's going to uh, make something out of this, you know, maybe, maybe a company has approached me to, to help design their robot because they're going to do this. Sure. I would spend a little bit more time trying to get it right and perfect and all that. But again, I'm not worried about it for a quick, uh, day 14 of, of how I make robots, right? All right, let's see where we go from there. So, I like that, I like that. Um, I'm just kind of playing around with the marker since I've got it, right? I mean, might as well use some some color. But no, I want to do that with color. So, let's not worry about that. Let's get back to the Sharpie and get going. So, let's welcome everybody that skipped and get going. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point. You can find things that the fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but left myself enough to see where we're going to go. And if you want to see more March of Robots, check out that playlist right there. Or just check out the playlist in general, because I do so many that I may have already drawn what you're looking for. So let's just dive right in and, and just go with this one. Again, we're, we're going crazy. I just thought, you know what, let's do something different. And that's where this one came from. It's just trying to come up with something different. And that's it. That's the only, that's the only reason why it's getting this weird. And it's not really weird. You know, it's not, that's not the correct word. That's not what I'm looking for. Uh, it's just, I'm trying to, a, I'm trying to make something that's not quite what you've done before, but um, I'm also trying to keep it doable, drawable, you know? Like sometimes I do stuff and it's like, there's no way, there's no way I've got time to do this. This is gonna take me forever. Not gonna work. Not gonna work, buddy. Um, okay, so this side, let's see. Okay, so the idea behind this is just some crazy who knows what, right? But in doing that, I've got to think of it on this side because I can't, it doesn't get cut off. I haven't turned a little bit, so that's why I can kind of hide some stuff. But here, I have to make sure I draw it. and draw the end, like in other words, I gotta see where it goes, you know? And look, I did some Sharpie lines, just, I mean, some some Copic marker lines just to try to get it look like that, but I'm not gonna let that determine where this goes. Like in other words, uh, 
And don't let my past dictate my future. Like that, right? Yeah, I like that, I like that. We're gonna maybe add a little button like that. Just to mix it up, make it robotic. So now I can draw the back. And so I'm gonna bring the head in like this. And I wanna go back there. I wanna basically do this, this edge right there. Um, and you know, two, I should do this. I should do, if that's going back there, this is gonna go to the other edge like that. I'm kind of drawing uh, surfaces without drawing surfaces. You know what I mean? So that's the whole point of that. And I'm gonna mostly do that with color just because I wanted to uh, be able to, right? And there's the old robot eye. You know, I always gotta put those in. And then we'll say, let's, let's open it like this. So let's almost say like that's where the housing, where they put it together and put stuff and, and design and whatnot, you know? Uh, should we do, yeah, let's break up. Let's break up the negative space. And also, kind of uh, um, give it a little bit of, of shape by adding a line like that. All right, so for his neck, who knows? I'm just gonna draw in something like this, right? And the inside neck is gonna have parts that we can't even see. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm just giving it some, uh, um, what do you call it? A little, a little bit of uh, filler, uh, greeblies, so to speak. All right, just kind of, kind of filling in a few things now for his his uh, arm. I kind of had an idea. I do this a lot, where I draw this shape and then come back and connect it. Like I, I try to draw the the uh, the outline and then I come back and add this stuff. Where I probably should just draw the stuff, you know? So there, uh, uh, it's it's kind of un, unusable. There's no way that's actually movable, but that's that's what we're doing right now. This That's the shape of it, all right? It's just basically to to give it some texture. That's all I'm really going for. So I'm not too worried about whether it's actually movable, how it will, will function. I'm trying, I'm trying. But a lot of times with stuff like this, it doesn't matter. You know, it's about uh, filling the gaps. And I did something back there, so let's do it here too. Kind of this old retro uh, shape like this. That's not really, it's like a raised thing, but it's not really, I guess you should have done it like that. It's raised, but it's not really there. You know what I mean? There's no flat edge, kind of disappears into the edge there. All right, so for his arms, we're just gonna do the simple in like this, housing down here to the elbow that this one is kind of back he's kind of rearing back for a punch so I'm not worried about that end here what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something like this and then connect it with some more uh, uh, manufacturing is that the word I'm looking for um, but I had a crazy idea of it's gonna kind of come out and do this Again, kind of a a, uh, a a shape. See, I do the shapes first, and then I do, I don't know, I don't know why, and then I do the, uh, um, the build. It just, I don't know, just, it, it, it's appealing to me for some reason. Um, I'll do the same thing there in a second. For the hand, I don't want to do a regular hand. I want to do almost like like a claw or something, you know, just like a 
almost like a, a um, what do you call it, a, uh, a crab claw, you know, and, and just kind of make it a little different. You know, so it's not the same on the top and the bottom. It's a little different. And again, I'm just going for some kind of otherworldly design, you know, that just kind of makes it a little a little different from what we normally see. One another line right there, just to break it up. Maybe too much, but hey, it's ours, right? Okay, so this one is kind of, it's, it's cocked back into a fist. That means it's all kind of in front of itself, and that also means that we're looking at this from a different angle. So, I wanna draw it like this. Right, this is the different angle I'm talking about. And it's kind of, again, pinching itself. So that is like this. This is like that. So you pretty much uh, are looking at it from the, a uh, straight on view is what I'm doing here. So I've got that in kind of this round circle type thing. So I've got to do the same thing here. Right? If you're looking at it from straight on and that's the side, well, then I got to draw those circles. Well, not all of them, but you know, the, the main ones that are, are uh, the idea of it, right? And then this one's a little bit bigger, so it's going out, and then it's pretty much over all this, so you can't even see all that anyway. So that's the nice thing about this, is like it kind of disappears back here, that you can't even see all of that anyway, and we're kind of getting away with, well, everything's in, in front of itself, you know? So that's all we're doing, right? I'll, I'll do a little bit of elaboration, you know, to try to make it look a little bit more like it's the same thing. But that's also what I was saying is like, ooh, too much. <laughs> that I've got to, I've got to add a lot of extra stuff just to make it look like it's it's uh, in front of itself, right? But see, I can get away with something like that, and that's good enough. No one's gonna really say, well, that's not the same thing. And even if they do. Oh well, I don't care. I'm just making robots. For the, for the chest, I'm not really thinking much. I'm not going too crazy here. Um, let's, <laughs> I wanna give them almost like a tie, right? Like something that looks like a tie. We're gonna bring it in like this. Right, like maybe that's his, his uh, uh, chest. Same thing here, and then we'll make it into like a rib cage type thing. So I don't have to draw the line all the way across, just most of the way across, right? We'll give him a spine of something. We'll do a pivot, or not a pivot, but a piston over here. Do a piston over here, and then we'll bring the edge of it like that. I've got more sketched, but I think if I leave it open like that, it's a little more a little more appealing. There we go. I like that. Um, oh, I said I had to do spine, so let's do some kind of rib lines. Don't know what that is, but we're gonna do something like that. Like I said, some kind of, uh, and I see, I don't even know what this is. We're just gonna say that's kind of like this weird looking thing that looks like a tie. That's it, that's all That's all I'm, I'm, I'm focused on. Let's say there's this middle crotch piece that holds the housing together. And then we're just gonna do like an open, like this, there's the leg, and then close it up a little bit by adding more pieces. 
Don't know why, don't know what, but we're just adding adding stuff is all we're really doing. So a lot of times, like, like the arms and that, it's basically housing, you know, so we're gonna build leg parts just to hold everything together, you know? Oh, but you know what? I had an idea for this. Sorry, we're jumping real quick. I had an idea for the boots. I wanted to do like this. Like it, for some reason, it started. To, it started to come to me like, like, what if he's like a a, a superhero type thing? Um, and so all this housing is all the same for just one gigantic like rocket boot. You know what I mean? So something crazy that's almost too much. So forgive me as I'm going crazy with a gigantic, uh, just drawing it, but I want to make sure that I, 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 uh, I guess that should have been more of a point. I want to make sure that I established what's going to be coming up when I draw the, like that, the, the facing you view versus the side view, you know? Right, okay, I think I can work with something like that. I, again, a little bit too much, but it uh, it will make sense to no one. And that's the most important part. It doesn't have to. You know, this is ours. Okay, so something like that. And that's just the, the over the top uh, boot that we're designing. And so now I can just do uh, the leg like that, like we did there, into the housing, but behind that boot. And that's the whole idea. That's what I was shooting for, is getting the placement of what's in front, right? So now I'm just gonna do some robot parts connecting the insides, right? That's it, and that's all we gotta do. Nothing, nothing crazy, nothing over the top, just robot parts inside. Maybe some wires or whatnot. Same thing here, I can kinda do a, you know, like a, um, a pelvic bone type kinda thing, but connected by wires and whoosie what's it's in and uh, things we don't understand because we don't build robots. There we go. Okay, so I think I wanna draw the leg, uh, the boot like we did over here just to get it in front first. So. I want that big old honking, well, whatever we're gonna call it, uh, boot type kind of thing, like that. But I want to again, want to make sure it's in front of that. That was a whole idea. All right, and then I can add the extra stuff as we go. And again, I probably did too much because how am you gonna put all that in there? You don't. You kind of cheat. But again. Doesn't matter. As long as you're having fun. As long as you're adding what you want. Close that off. Like that, and we're gonna add the extra now. All right, so I'm gonna do Something like that, because whatever that is, you know? And let's give it an edge. Let's do like that, right? Raise it, raise it up just a little bit. But it's like a, almost like that, like it's a form that's there, but it's not a hard edge that we can really see.
And I'm just kind of looking over and seeing what I did. It's like, okay, well, I can do that there. I can do that there. I can do that there, just to kind of make it look like, see, I'm missing that. But, uh, like that, make, keep it subtle. You can't really see it as much, you know? But again, that's good enough. It gets the point across, right? So I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is day 14 of March of Robots. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures on how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.